I went to the president of Disney Channel and I said, I want to make history. And that's what this is. <laughs> Hi, no uh, uh. Hi guys. So today I am doing a Cracker Barrel mukbang. I'm at Cracker Barrel right now. I already ordered my food. I got hash brown tots, my favorite thing in the world, country fried chicken, mac and cheese, fries, biscuits, and peach cobbler. So... <laughs> It's gonna be a big mukbang. I don't want to hear people say, Timmy, this is not a real mukbang because you're not eating enough. Girl, did you hear the amount that I ordered? You better be happy with this. And I also thought to myself, why not make this mukbang a QA? and a I have not done a Q&A in literally years, so I thought it would just be a lot of fun. I asked you guys to ask me questions on YouTube and on Instagram. So I have all those questions on my phone right here. I have barely looked at them, so hopefully there's some saucy, juicy ones in there. And we're just gonna have a fantastic time, so... Sit back, relax, grab a meal, eat with me. We love this for us. I'm gonna go inside and pick up my food. Hi, Hello, how are you? Uh, picking up? Picking up is okay. Oh, it's over there? Okay, thank you. Um, how are you? Um, I'm uh, picking up. Okay. Timothy Alvarez. And you've already paid online? Yes. Okay. Is that it? Right there? Oh, perfect. Okay, guys, I got my food and I got a large diet coke um i did get kind of nervous saying my name it was just packed there was a lot going on i felt kind of rushed not because of the employees but just because of all the chaos and so i was like eh, um tim the Alvarez. Ah, but i didn't and i pretty much slayed it it's fine okay so let's first drink some diet coke now this is not a taste test i am not really going to be like reviewing um the food in depth because i've had it all before i'm just going to be eating and talking <sighs> also i wash my hands inside we love that let me get my table out <sighs> okay oh my gosh guys i got this comment that really bothered me yesterday Someone said, Timmy, now that you're eating in your car, you're acting so much more feminine. And I said to myself, when was I ever masked? <laughs> First of all, second of all, maybe because I'm more comfortable, I'm just being more myself. I don't know, but I am just having the best time filming videos in this car. I, like it is my favorite thing ever. I love going out, getting my food, going home, editing. It's just so much fun to me. And so maybe because I'm happy and excited, I'm showing more emotion. I don't know. But it just bothered me because it's like, who are you? <laughs> who are you, girl? Or should I say man? I've been noticing that people really love to tell me how to be, what to do. And sometimes it gets into my head. I'm like, Am I being annoying? Like, am I too much? And then I'm just like, no. I'm just literally being myself, existing, filming, eating. So I'm just gonna be me and that's it. Okay, let's see what we got. We got some biscuits. Yes, so the biscuits come free with the meals. We love that. Oh, oh my God. You don't know how good Cracker Barrel's biscuits are. And now I'm trying them super fresh. They're incredible. Super warm. Fluffy, buttery, flaky, crispy. Mm. They don't even need sauce. They're not dry. They're actually quite doughy. Mmm. Let's open up everything else. So this is oh, the gravy for the fried chicken. Do you see it? It's very thick. It's almost gelatinous. Oh, this is the really hammy gravy. I remember that smell. I might add just a little bit. We'll see. Oh, goodness. I forgot that it smelled like that. Okay. Now, these are the loaded hash brown tots. One of my favorite restaurant items in general oh my gosh you don't know how good these are like you truly don't know oh my goodness oh <gasps> stunning and then let me put some on the seat over here because don't worry i always keep a towel on my seat because of all the food that i eat in here that rhymed 
<gasps> the fried chicken and the fries. And the mac and cheese right here. Oh, and of course, I got a side of ranch. <laughs> it was free too, we love that. <gasps> this fried chicken looks amazing. So it's boneless fried chicken. There's the fry steak fries. Oh, oh. And then the mac and queso. By the way, guys, when I stepped into that restaurant slash store, it felt like I was in Alabama or something like a whole different state because just like the demographic, it's like older, whiter people. And here in South Florida, there are tons of Cubans, tons of Latin people. I'm half Cuban. My dad is full Cuban. My bae is full Cuban. So like I am just used to seeing like Latin people everywhere here. And it was literally just like an ocean of mayonnaise. And I can't talk because girl, I am that shade too. Yeah, it was just different. Pause, let me get my thumbnail. Okay. By the way, is it possible for a bead to get into your car like through like the air vents or something? Because the other day I was driving and there was a bee like following me. It was like on my windshield just like poking at it and I was like, could it get in here? And it really scared me. Let me open this ranch. Ooh, looks great. This is for the fries. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start the Q&A. So, let me just go through the questions. Um... Where am I? This is my Instagram story. Okay. So, someone said, will you grow your hair out again? Never. Not by choice, because I'm balding, girl. See? So, my hairline isn't really receding that much. It's more so that the whole top of my head is thinning like a lot like here it's a lot thicker and then here it's thinning so I'm just kind of like I'm just gonna be bald forever like honestly I'm just embracing it I think I look extremely handsome not <laughs> not to be prideful but I do feel confident and I can cover it up like this oh no I was kidding but um but I honestly do do feel very confident with this shaved head I just feel like it really complements my face and when I look back at pictures of me like when I had hair now I'm like my forehead looked so big because I had this like high hair and it just like elongated it and now I'm just happy being bald so we love that let's try one of these loaded hash brown tots Ooh, the sun is starting to shine on my camera I might have to move soon I don't want it to overheat ah! <gasps> I just realized that they forgot the peach cobbler. I'll go back in soon. Let me eat some first. Mm. I'm kind of nervous to go back in and like ask, but you know, I have to push myself to talk to strangers and get out of my comfort zone. Oh my God. You don't know how good this is. Like you actually don't. Wow. Mm. Okay. Next question. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Someone at Urgent Care tried to tell me that I was 5'6". No, girl. I'm 5'7". What is one food that no longer exists do you wish could come back? The Grande Soft Taco from Taco Bell. Back in my day when I was probably like 8, 9, 10... There was this dollar menu item called the Grande Soft Taco. And it was this big soft taco, two tortillas, and it had nacho cheese between the two tortillas. And then it was just full of all the taco fillings, like ground beef, lettuce, all that stuff. It was incredible. It was my go-to. And they haven't had it on the menu for, what, like 10 years now? It is genuinely upsetting. Oh. They're so soft on the inside. It's like almost like mashed potatoes. But with some texture. 
่งความวางวิวางวิวางยาเกนซูมนักสตาร์ Have you tried In and Out? You need to come out west to do a full review. I have tried it when I was like 18, maybe. I went to California for VidCon. <laughs> Iconic moment. Gosh, like YouTube was so different back then. Um, and I tried In and Out, and I don't really remember what it tasted like because it's been well, like 10 years. But um, I think I liked it. I'll have to try it again for sure one day when I'm back there. Um, Just want to thank you for all the laughs and great videos. My husband and I often sing my opinion. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Oh, it's my opinion. You can be mad at my opinion. Oh, wow. Iconic. I made bops. It's true. Would you ever move from Florida? Great question. I really don't love Florida. You know, in the sense of like the laws and all that stuff, especially what's going on right now. I just think it's so crusty and like nasty, but I have learned to love the weather here. I love that it's always hot and I never need to use a heater because I have dry eyes, but I don't just have dry eyes. I have this thing called corneal erosion where sometimes in the middle of the night, my eyelid gets stuck to my eyeball and it rips off the top layer of my eyeball. It's happened tons of times, but um, it's always been small little rips that just heal on their own. But once, when I was in Virginia, I was staying in a house that had a heater and heaters dry the air out, which also dries out the eyes if you have dry eye. And my eye ripped, but like the whole top layer of my eyeball ripped, like over the whole colorful part of my eye, it was gone. And it was the most painful thing that I've ever been through in my whole entire life. And I had to go to like an eye doctor there and get like a literal like contact bandage, which is the thing. It's like a contact that acts as like a bandaid, which helped a lot, but it was legit traumatic. I'm not joking. It was horrifying. So I will never live in a state that gets cold enough to the point where I need a heater because I just literally can't function like that. It's too painful. So I don't see myself moving from Florida unless if things get really bad with all these new laws and all that stuff. Um, cause it is scary for someone like me. Um, but I try not to get too into that because I don't want to, you know, dampen the mood, but yeah. And I could move to like California, but that's a very, dry climate so that's also drying to the eye so it does kind of work that i live in such a humid hot place so for now i'm staying here let's get into the actual meal okay let's try one of these steak fries kind of bland girl i don't know about that the ranch tastes a little processed Ooh, those fries aren't am do you have any tattoos no but i do kind of want like a small cute one on my arm or something because now that i have a little bit of muscle i'm like ooh, let me put something there right but i just don't know what to get like i've always wanted like a captain marvel tattoo or a miss marvel tattoo they're my two favorite superheroes but i feel like people think that's dumb i don't know i don't think it's dumb at the end of the day, it's my choice. So if I want it, I'm going to get it. But also, I wanted like the Captain Marvel symbol, which is like a star type shape. And then the Miss Marvel symbol, which is like a lightning bolt. But I feel like symbols can be like misconstrued. Like let's say that someone doesn't know who Captain Marvel is. And then they see this like weirdly shaped star on my arm. They're going to be like, what does that mean? Like, and they might think that it means something else. Like I wore my Miss Marvel necklace uh, kind of recently. <laughs> In, in one of my videos and I got tons of comments saying like, oh my gosh, Timmy, you must know all about that Real Housewives drama. And I was like, what are they talking about? And then someone said, 
your necklace looks like the symbol that this woman wore on Real Housewives or something like that. And I, I was so confused. I was like, what? See, so I don't want any like misunderstandings. I don't want people to think that it means something else and blah, blah, blah. It's just weird. So I probably won't get any like Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel symbols, but, but maybe I can think of something else. Maybe I'll get my dogs names or something because dogs are timeless. Let's try this fried chicken. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. This lighting is not it. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. I'm not using that gravy. It's way too hammy. I'm, I'm not going to do it. This is good on its own. It's extremely juicy. Mmm! Come on! Girl! That is delicious, crispy, juicy, everything I've ever wanted in a piece of fried chicken. I love that it's boneless, too. How is driving going? It's going good. I drive every day. I have driven on the highway multiple times. It's still kind of scary, but I can do it. And I'm just slaying it. I love driving. Um, when did your YouTube career take off? So I was famous for like a year, guys, like legit famous. Um, it really took off in 2016 when um, I started making DIYs with all the DIY girls like Breelin, Karina, Natalie's Outlet. First of all, I'm happy to say I'm on great terms with all the girlies. I don't talk to them often, but they're all super nice to me. There was a lot of drama, but it's all good now. I think that we all grew up. Um, and I am happy to say that I never caused any of it. But, um, yeah. Basically, my channel blew up for like a year. And then, um, DIYs just kind of stopped being the main trend. And my channel slowly just started declining, declining, declining. And my subscribers haven't grown in like, what, six years? Which I'm fine with, because I have you guys, that's all that I need. And then I found the world of fast food and a taste test, and now I feel like my channel isn't big by any means, but it's at a very comfortable spot where I'm very happy with, with my content. I get enough views to support myself, which I'm very grateful for. And I just don't need more than that. So I, I just feel very content with where my channel is, where it's going, and these car taste tests have just reinvigorated me even more. So we love that. Let me try this mac and cheese. Give me one. This is such a fun mock thing. I love answering questions because it gives me something to talk about. Let's try this mac and cheese. I'm going to have to move soon though because I think that my camera's getting pretty hot. Mmm pretty basic but I like it let's go inside soon and get the peach cobbler you know I might just finish the meal first and then go inside I'm nervous to do it I'm really nervous I don't know the lady kind of intimidated me just a little bit. It wasn't her fault, it was just the vibe, the energy. And when I get intimidated, my stutter acts up. But I have my techniques. I can do it. I can do it! Mm. Mm. Next question. What is your second dog's name? I only ever hear you call Regina. So yes, I have two wonderful dogs. They're just the sweetest, most most wonderful babies in the world. I have Regina, who is a little six-year-old Shih Tzu. She's a toy Shih Tzu, so she's very small. I just spit. And then we have Tamale, who is a Cavapoo, which is a Cavalier slash Poodle. And 
we don't call him Tamale. Well, first of all, it's Tamale because Tim Alejandro Tamale, and it's like the food too. So we don't call him that. I don't know why. We just call him Poo Poo. <laughs> but like Tamale is his legal name because I can't like go to the vet and say Poo Poo has an appointment. Poo Poo, you know. But um, we call him Poo Poo Poopy. Kaka? No, I'm just kidding. We we'll, won't we'll call him Kaka, but. They're just wonderful. I love my baby so much. Like, I don't need to have kids ever because I have dogs. Um, MM Disney 200 asked me a question. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of her. But they said, name five movies you are looking forward to this year. Ah! I love this question because I love movies. The Marvels which is the sequel to Captain Marvel, and it's with Miss Marvel. <laughs> it comes out in November. Go see it. Support it, please. It's an all-female superhero team. Okay? Support that. And, of course, Little Mermaid, <laughs> which comes out in, like, three weeks. I'm gonna pass out. Oh, my God. I have, like, three tickets already to see it, guys. Like, I'm not joking. And I'm also looking forward to Fast X, even though I'm not into Fast and Furious at all. Brie Larson is in that, and she's Captain Marvel, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to, what else? Wish. That's the new Disney princess movie coming out in November. And the last one, maybe Barbie. I'm like excited for that, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. The rest of the movies this year, I'm like, they can all rot. I don't care. This is Captain Marvel and Ariel's year. And that's it. Oh, and Miss Marvel. Okay. Anyways, I'm getting full already, guys, and I still have the peach cobbler. I got way too much food. Way too much food. Mm. This mac and cheese is pretty good. It tastes very processed, but I like it. I like a processed mac and cheese moment. I'm gonna have lots of leftovers for sure. Next question. Um... Advice for someone nervous to start driving. Um, I would say take it slow. Try to get professional lessons if if you are able to, because that really helped me feel confident. But I know that professional lessons can cost a lot of money, so I'm just saying if you can do it, because it definitely helps. And also just know that even if it seems impossible right now, you're gonna get to the point where like driving is like second nature. And it is starting to become that for me. Like I used to be like, how am I ever gonna get there? And I did. I went to the president of Disney Channel and I said, I wanna make history. And that's what this is. <laughs> what is your dream food cinematic universe crossover from the Cursed Prince? Hello. Um, you know, I would like to put a Wendy's spicy chicken filet into a Big Mac. I feel like that would be such a good combination. That would eat. Eat! Okay, my sister asked, have you ever sharded? Girl, you know the answer. You know my history. Let's go to the YouTube questions. There's so many here too, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna miss so many of, of your questions. It's actually ridiculous. I feel really bad. How do you stay healthy eating the things that you eat? Oh, there's someone there. Hello. Um, so it's really all about balance. First of all, I work out five days a week, girl. Like, lifting heavy weights, girl. Second of all, when I eat a big meal like this for lunch, then for dinner, I make sure to have something light, like a salad, or even like a thing of froyo. And that's my whole dinner because I'm like already full from this big meal. You know, right? You know what I mean? So it's just all about balance. And also, um, I am not giving tips to anybody right now. This is just what I do uh, because I don't know if this is healthy, like eating like a massive mukbang meal and then eating ice cream for dinner. <laughs> it's probably not healthy. I'm just being honest right now. Okay. Um, but on days where like I eat like a normal amount of food during, during my taste test, then for dinner, I'll have like a normal meal. Um, this is just like a huge meal. Do you get me? So yeah, that's what I do. I'm gonna try this with a ranch. Mm-hmm. 
So good. Okay. What do you use to edit your videos? Any recommendations for newbies? Well, most computers come with a free editing software like iMovie when you get like an Apple computer or PCs come with something too. I'm not sure, like movie editor or something. I don't even know. But um, I personally use Final Cut Pro. I think it's like, I think it's like $200 or something like that. I like bought it when I was like 17 and it's lasted me all this time because I just like update it if that makes sense but um yeah i just use that i just cut the clips up very simple i don't do anything fancy so i'm gonna pause put the food away go and get my peach cobbler and then i will answer more questions okay we're not done yet girlies i just realized that on the receipt peach cobbler is is crossed out and it says out so i guess that they're out of it but um i'm gonna see if i can get like a replacement dessert oh thank you Hello, so um, I got the peach cobbler, but it says out. Um, is it possible to like get a different dessert? Um, give me one second. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm in a much more shaded spot. I did it, guys. I did it. I feel like I did a great job. I wasn't too scared. I got the Coca-Cola cake. It's like a chocolate cake made with Coca-Cola. We love that. And I parked in a new spot with a lot more shade. So my camera won't be overheating. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <gasps> Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm honestly so proud of myself, guys. Like the old Timmy would have just not gotten any dessert. I would have just been like, oh, too bad. I'm not going to ask anybody. You know, that's just too scary. So, but... Look at that, it looks so good. Where'd my fork go? Let's see how that texture is. Oh, it's very dense, whoa. Oh, it's like a brownie texture. Look at that, guys, do you see that texture right there? It's like cement. Ah! It tastes like a giant cosmic brownie. Exactly. Same process vibe, but I love it. Mm. I don't taste any Coca-Cola, but oh, I taste happiness, that's for sure. Mm. Hey, back to questions. Are you married? Basically. <laughs> okay, so um, Alejandro and I, we have been together for eight and a half years, and we truly feel like we are married. Now, we have never felt the need to get married, but I do think it's a good idea just because, you know, with all the stuff that's going on in Florida, we might as well just, like, make it official before something else happens. Like, we don't know. You know what I mean? And so that would be, like, the reason why we would do it. But otherwise, we we just are a part of each other. Like, that is it. So we just feel married already, if that makes sense. And if we do it, it would be like an eloping moment. Like, <laughs> I don't want a wedding. I'm not into that. And if you are, that is iconic. That is amazing. Have your princess moment. We love that. I just literally hate attention. <laughs> what kind of car did you buy? This is a Chevrolet Bolt. It's electric. I love it so much. It is like the best thing that's ever happened to me besides Alejandro. Um, why did it take you so long to get your license and get a car? Fear, girl. Fear. Anxiety. I was always so scared of driving just because it looked so scary, but it's really not. And also, like, you know, getting your license and taking lessons, all that stuff requires a lot of talking. And because I've had a stutter my whole life, I've always just, like, put it off. I've been like, I'll just get it next year. I'll get it next year. I'll get it next year. And I never got it. Um, but this year I started speech therapy, I started driving and all of that has really changed my whole life and I'm happier than ever. And I feel like I can actually talk now. Mm. It's just so rich. It's ridiculous, but somehow it's not overly sweet. Mm. Oh yeah. What else here? How did you and Alejandro meet? Okay, Cupid, not sponsored, but we did. Timmy, question. 
Why does your personality make us all so happy? Oh, you guys make me happy. Thank you so much for all that is so sweet. Who is your fave Food Network star? And if given the opportunity, would you ever be a taste testing judge on one of their shows? Yes, um, I'm not famous enough to do that or to be asked to do that, but, oh, yes! I don't even care about my stutter. I would just be so excited to judge food that I wouldn't even care. I would, yeah, I would just do it like fresh air. And my favorite Food Network star, probably Ina Garden. <laughs> Una Gardenia. When I was a kid, my favorite Food Network star was Paula Dean. but then we all know what happened with her. <laughs> Not my favorite anymore, girly, that's for sure. Oh, also, I used to love Rachel Ray so much with her raspy voice and, you know, her 30-minute her meals and her traveling show. Those were so iconic. Seeing as you have spoken about your personal life and your journey with anxiety in your videos, would you feel comfortable doing a separate full video on your struggles with that? I totally would. It would probably be like a Q&A mukbang type thing, but like just about anxiety, you know? Because my whole channel's Timmy's Takeout, so I have to eat <laughs> and I want to eat. But yeah, totally. Do you still collect dolls? So I do still collect a lot of Disney dolls. Now, I went through an era where I got burnt out and I sold all of them. I was just like buying like every single one that came out and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. It just felt like a task, like a, like a chore. Like I have to get it cause it's part of my collection. But, but now I am slowly getting back into dolls. I have like three and I'm only buying dolls that I truly love. I have a big Tinkerbell doll right now. I have a Snow White one and a Jasmine one. But nowadays I mainly collect action figures. I'm a mask king. <laughs> I have a ton of the Marvel characters in a nice little glass box. Love it. If you weren't doing YouTube, what would your dream job be? Also, love your driving videos. Driving to me is giving. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Queen. I don't know what I'll be doing. I always thought that I couldn't do anything else because of my stutter. But now that my speech has improved so much, I don't know. Maybe some sort of like home decor designer <laughs> my house literally has no decorations but it just sounds easy i don't know something easy that's for sure let me just say though that that job probably isn't easy i am probably just being dumb about it but um to me it just sounds fun you know just like put that frame there girl make that wall red you know easy fun um i wouldn't want to be like a lawyer or a doctor or anything like that that's just too much work and it's too much school, you know? Oh, I couldn't do it. But to the people that do it, you're amazing. We love you, you're a genius. I'm just not a genius. I might have a big head, but I'm not a genius. How have you never been through a drive through before? Like never even with a family member or a friend either? So curious, thanks, love the videos, thank you so much. So I have been through a drive through before, I just haven't been in the in the driver's seat until now. I've been going through, through the drive through every day basically. But I was always in the passenger seat being like, tell them I want this. <laughs> but now I'm ordering myself. Wow. Okay, let me just do one last speed round, okay? Do you miss your kitchen videos? I am, I am still going to make some kitchen videos for sure if the video calls for it. Like if I have to taste test like 10 things, then I'll film that in the kitchen. But... If I'm just doing like a new item taste test, it's gonna be in the car because the food is so much fresher and it's just more fun to me, so. What inspired you to do YouTube and have you always known you were fruity? <laughs> so iconic. Well, I was a bored homeschooler and that inspired me to do YouTube, honestly. That's it, I was super bored and I needed a hobby and I was like, oh, this looks like fun. Um, and yes, I've always known that I'm, ah, ah, up until I was 18, I like knew, but I never thought that it was a possibility to actually be out. Does that make sense? But then when I was 18, I, I had this like moment where like a light bulb switched on and I was like, I can just be me. And, and that was that period. Yeah. I'm very full. Let me save this too. 
Mm. Um, okay, I'll do a couple more questions. Is one of your achievements to teach people to be less judgmental and more kind to each other? I mean, I hope so. I hope that I can achieve that and, you know, just sh help show people that being nice is always the better option. Even if someone's kind of rude to you, well, like, not if they're, like, rude, rude. If, if they're hateful, give it back to them, queen, as long as you're making sure that you're safe, if that makes sense. But if someone's kind of rude, kind of snappy, if someone is just having a hard day, just always stay nice. You don't like you don't have to give the energy back to them. You can show them that their attitude isn't affecting yours. Are you crazy picky about keeping your new car clean? I know I was at first, but after the first spill, you just got to give it up. Loving the car videos. <laughs> first of all, thank you. Thank you, queen. I am not picky about that. I have like, you know, mukbang crumbs all over the place. It isn't that dirty, but you know, I think when it comes to something like having like a bag of trash in the car, I don't want that. But if there's some crumbs, I don't mind it. It's like a little bit of mess is fine. A lot of mess isn't. Will you ever use DoorDash again? No, literally never again. The prices are just insane. Today I paid what, like $30 around there and that was with tip on a DoorDash. All this food would have been at least 50 with delivery fees, all that stuff. So I'm saving so much money. Never again, queen. Even if I film at at my house, I'm gonna go and pick the food up, period. What's the worst mukbang you think you did? DJ Khaled's chicken wing restaurant, another wing. That is the worst taste test that I've ever done. The chicken wings tasted like fish, all of them. It was nasty, truly disgusting. Okay, that's enough guys. I'm gonna go home. That was such a fun mukbang video. Thank you for all of the questions. I'm so sorry if I couldn't get to yours. There were so many. I will probably be doing more of these mukbang Q&As. So I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, buh, buh.